We greet everyone the peace of the Lord Jesus. In reverence to reading the word of the Lord, I'd like to invite those who can to stand up at this moment. I'm going to open up a text on the Old Testament, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 4. Jeremiah chapter 4. Jeremiah 4. We're going to read verse 21. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 21. Amen. The word of the Lord says the following. How long will I see this standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? How long will I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? I want to praise you. We are thankful for this moment of fellowship that we have with you. We plead to you, Lord, that you, you bless your word and you may bless your people with it. We pray to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated.
great is your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Until when? How long will I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? That's a question. For how long? And Isaiah, as Isaiah 18, 3, it says, You, all the inhabitants of the world, and you, the inhab dwellers of the earth, when, well, when I'm about to come, you see the flag on the mount. When the, when the flag on the mounts show up, uh, then I will come. And this is a word, a prophecy from the Lord for you, for all the inhabitants of the world, and for all the inhabitants of the earth. When the flag is seen in the mount, then you will see him. It is written like that. And it says more. And when the trumpet is sounded, you will hear him. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It is a promise from God. The flag is shining in the mount. Everybody will see. Everyone, the entire humanity. Because salvation from God is for the entire humanity. It's for all. Because God doesn't choose a person over another. The flag, when the flag is seen over the mount, and that's how he sees the salvation in Christ Jesus. When the trumpet is sounded, it is written that we will, we will hear him. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And my brethren, this flag has been at the top of the post it is has been erected as placed on a erect position you know what a flag means who is the flag the servant of the lord called moses from exodus he says who the flag is he said the lord is our flag blessed be the name of the lord so salvation has a flag. The flag of salvation is the Lord. And it's being seen for all the inhabitants of the world for the entire to the by the entire humanity because the desire of the Lord to save all without exception. Because God loves all without exception. Because whoever goes to Jesus is received by Jesus without exception. So Everyone is seeing salvation in Christ Jesus. Everyone. You, I, us, everywhere um, on the entire face of the earth. All are hearing the voice, the sound of the trumpet. The, the voice of the Holy Spirit is echoing all around the earth, in every place. Announce, proclaiming. Announcing. Calling. Alerting, awakening, man and humanity for what is about to take place. Because, my brethren, salvation, you know the meaning of salvation? Salvation is deliverance. It's deliverance because God wants to deliver us. God wants to spare us. And why God wants to do that? Because he loves you, he loves me, he loves each one of us. So then comes the question from the Holy Spirit. There's a text that we just read. For how long? How long will I see the flag, the standard? For how long this flag of salvation, the standard of salvation will be uh, available, the grace of uh, favor and mercy of God, for how long? Then you may think with yourself, oh, is it forever? No, it's not forever. 
God established a moment and He established a time. The dead, the ones that died or that have been killed for love of God, for the love of the gospel, those that tes testified of Jesus, those that raised the flag, those that have uh, proclaimed uh, uh, the gospel of God on this trumpet, they ask a question in Revelations. That's where the question is. It says the following. They pray a great voice saying, For how long the true and holy dominator? For how long? So God established a time. There's a time that's being established by God. The time of salvation. And after that, the time of, of the wrath of the Lord. Now the question is, for how long will I be able to see the flag, the banner, standard? The Bible says, my brethren, that the flag was, was raised to give man a direction, to point man to a direction. So while the flag was, was raised over a mount, it was easy to identify was easy to know what path man needed to go through in order to reach that flag, that standard. Salvation is a path. The church knows this path. Don't we know? The church can answer, who is the way? Jesus is, he is the way. And you know, what is the advice of the Lord for you, for me, for everyone? To walk in Him. Walk in Him. Walking Christ without deviate, going from the, to the right or to the left. Remain on, the, on Him. He is the target. He is our salvation. He is the way that will deliver us. He is the way that will save us. In the word, my brethren, says the following that when the Lord spoke to Jeremiah, he said, Proclaim in Judah, make it heard in Jerusalem. So this word was being heard in Jerusalem, in the city of the great king, the city of the Lord. It is being proclaimed in this place also, because this place represents spiritually Jerusalem the seed of the great God, the place of the temple of the Lord. And the Lord says the following, sound the trumpet. The trumpet is being sounded. The gospel is being proclaimed. Jesus, salvation is being proclaimed. And he says, Shout out, and that's what I'm doing. I'm sh I'm shouting out in loud voice. Why shouting out in loud voice? Why pleading? Is God deaf? No. And just so that He can understand that there is a desire and a persistence of the Holy Spirit to save men, so save humanity. So He says, "The following, my brethren, gather." He calls the people to gather up. In other words, to come close. We can use, we can use a, another word, to congregate, to be together, to be united in a single body. The church is not a denomination. Church is the body of Christ. So gather up. You have been called today to, to gather up. You have been called to congregate, to be together with us. You know why? Because the desire of the Lord is to save you, to rescue you, to bring you, to guide you to His presence. Because God loves me, but He loves you as well.
my brother and sister. And he says the following. Gather and let us enter into the strong city. So the Lord is calling you, He is inviting you so that you may come and congregate, congregate and gather up and enter into the city, strong city. And what kind of strong city is this? Go back to Revelation and ask, Lord, where is the strong city? city where there is no tears, there is no crying, there is no pain. You see the structure of the city, the walls of the city, the holy Jerusalem. There is a call of the Lord so that you may enter to this strong city. You know why? Because the Lord is our strength, He is our fortress. Because there is nothing else that is stronger than our Lord and our God. There is nothing. No, no one is stronger than Jesus because He overcame death. He come to death and said, Where are you, death? Where is hell? Your reward. So Jesus, He defeated death and hell. You know why? To give you life and to give a new life in a new earth. This is the voice of the strong one. Like we sang today, the voice of the lion of the tribe of Judah. This is the lion. This is the this is the Lord that is calling you. In order for you to congregate with us and to enter to the city with us. There's an invitation from the Lord, an invite invitation of the Holy Spirit to your life. You know, you know why? It's written like this. The earth you will be a wasted place. The cities are going to be destroyed. No, I'm putting fear on you, my brother. No. The point is not to cause you to be afraid. The point is to explain to you that God is giving to you and I an opportunity. to participate, opportunity to hear the voice of our Lord and Savior and accept His plan, His purpose for our lives. But the question is this, my brethren, for how long? How long we, uh, will we be able to see this standard? For how long salvation will be available to me? For how long will I be able to hear the voice, the sound of the trumpet? For how long? My brethren, the situation is not easy at that time. The people, the heart of the people was uh, the heart of uh, sinful people. In their mind of the people, there were only evil thoughts. And I ask you, my brother and sister, the world is in the world in this situation, the heart filled with evil and the and the soul filled with uh, evil thoughts. And I can ask you, my brother and sister, me with my heart filled with evil thoughts, for how long will I be able to see the flag? For how long salvation will be available for me? My soul without any good thoughts. For how long will I be able to see the flag of the trumpet? Oh, Brad, it doesn't say that this is your trumpet. It doesn't say the sound of trumpets at all. It's not a sound of trumpet. It is speaking of, of a sound. Is speak up of a, a voice, is a sound. Not the sound of an instrument is being played here. It's not a matter that or a bell that sounds like was the case of John the Baptist in the desert. Here, the originally speaks of a voice. And we know that a voice 
He comes from someone. And this voice is the voice of the Holy Spirit. But, but for how long? How, for how long salvation will be available to me? For how long the Holy Spirit will continue to speak with me? For how long will I reject the project of God for my life? For how, lo for how long oh, will I remain away from the path of the Lord? For how long my heart will fill with evil thoughts? For how long my mind will be filled with evil thoughts? For how long the project of God will remain in our midst, will remain in this world? For how long? The words have my brethren that God has not established day or an hour. But he has established in his eternity for him a day and an hour. We don't know what day and what hour. But there's a song that said the following, the signs of the end are in our generation. The trumpets are being sounded. The sound of the first trumpet, the second trumpet, the third trumpet, the fourth, and at any moment we'll, we'll, we'll hear the fourth trumpet. It, it will be sounded. But if I don't hear the sound of this fourth trumpet, it will be over. For me, the, pro the project of God will be over for me. And there is no fix, fixing up. There is no return. That's why the concern of the Holy Spirit for you, f for my life, for our lives. For how long will I see the flag of the Lord? For how long will I be able to see Jesus as the altar and finish of my salvation? For how long will I be able to walk on this path? For how long will I be, when will I be able to enter into the presence of my Lord and Savior? For how long will the Holy Spirit will continue to be persistent with me? For how long? But the advice of the Lord show the flag to Zion. My brethren, you and I, each one of us, the Lord has given us direction. Zion is the holy mount, is the mount of the Lord. Let us show the flag and raise the flag. Let us direct our lives to Zion, to salvation, to the plan of God for you, for me, for each one of us, which is Christ Jesus. Show the flag to Zion and run away. Run away. My brethren, it's now time to... to it's, now it's time to run away, to get out of this world getting out from the situation in which you are and in which I am. You need to get out of this situation. You need to get out of this situation. Bo we both need to get out of this situation. You know why? Because the Bible says the following. Run away for your own salvation. I need to run out, run away in order to be saved. Because if I stay in the world, I will not be saved. There is no agreement. So the advice of the Lord is the following. Run away in order for you to be saved. And it says more. Do not stop. But it's not worth to walk for one day, two days, three days. No. We need to run away and we'll only stop when we enter into the new heaven and the new earth. Because Jesus is the way. His salvation is not static. It's dynamic. Believe in Jesus and you'll be saved. It is written like that. Jesus is the way. Walk in it. A few are going to be f fall. A thousand will f 
fall on your side and the other uh, on, on your right. But you, my brother and sister, will not be uh, hit. Is that the Lord? Is that you are not harmed? That your salvation is not harmed? So let's pray and look at the flag that is being risen. Look to Jesus, the altar and finisher of our faith. Let's give heed and give credit to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Because this is the plan and the pro project of God for our lives. Until when? For how long will I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? Amen. Let us hear a song.
I invite the church to stand up. We're going to finish the service. Lord, we praise you. We're thankful for this moment. Because we've been able to see your banner, salvation with Jesus. Also able to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. We praise the Lord. Because the Holy Spirit is gathering us. He's preparing us to enter into the holy city, the strong city. Praise the Lord for salvation in Christ Jesus. Glorify your holy name for the assistance of the Holy Spirit in our midst. Every day, Lord, trying to convince us so that one day we may be able to receive this gift, this benefit, Lord, which is to be every day beside you in your eternity. We praise you for your people, for your church, for the people who are here tonight. I plead to you, Lord, you may continue to bless and operate and manifest your love, and make your project be known so that they may all congregate and gather with you, Lord, in this great meeting where we're going to be with you in your eternity. Take us home in peace. Under your protection, we pray in the holy name of Jesus. In the name we say the wonderful grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, the eternal, good and eternal Father, and sweet and tender consolation of the Holy Spirit, be with the people of God now and forevermore. Amen. The church may sit down. You who are here tonight, I'm going to say that you're welcome to this place. There is a call from the Lord to your life and assistance from God so that you can congregate and gather with us and to get ready to enter to this strong city, this holy city. If you desire prayer for your life, there is any doubt regarding what was said tonight, remain where you are and raise your hand and we will give you your proper assistance. And uh, we are ready invite you to come back more times. We have a meeting on Thursday, a prayer meeting at 8 o'clock, and Saturday at 7.30, Sunday morning at 10.30 in the Sunday school, and Sunday night at 7.30 we are invited to return more times. Amen. Tomorrow at 8 o'clock, there is going to be a meeting with the man. Just, just uh, ushers and deacons. Amen. The man. Amen. Amen. I like, if anybody desire prayer, please just raise your hand. <laughs> 